Welcome to Children's Ministry. I'm so glad that you could join us this morning. We have an exciting day ahead. We're going to talk about Paul's journeys on a ship as he's traveling around to tell people about Jesus. Today is also an exciting day because we have new friends joining us. Uh, we want to welcome today's Hayani and Chunyani, who are known as Chloe and Noah. And we also have Lucas, him, and he is also a brand new first grader. And finally, we want to welcome Brandon or Minugi. We're so excited that you all are now officially first graders and part of children's ministry. Welcome, 환영합니다, 친구들. Uh, we're gonna get started, but let's um, let's bow our heads first in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. We are so glad to be able to come and worship you. Help us as we learn about Jesus and your word, the Bible. Help us to open our ears. Give us understanding in our heart and mind and help us to love you back and praise you with all our heart and soul and strength. We ask you to help our country's leaders to be healthy and strong and wise. We pray that we would be a people that search for your truth and try to live according to your truth because we know how much you loved us first by sending your son to die on the cross for our sins. Thank you for making a way for us to be called your children. Thank you for this day and bless this time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
last week that God was using a man named Paul to tell others about Jesus. And this was not an easy job that God gave to Paul, but Jesus was with him the whole time. Paul had to travel all around the world as it was at that time. And he was in a place called Jerusalem where many were trying to put him to death and to, or to put him in prison just for telling others about Jesus. In the book of Acts, the Bible tells us that the Lord promised Paul that his next trip would take him to Rome, all the way to the most important city of the world at that time. And what was he to do there? To share the good news of Jesus Christ. Well, what do we know about God, guys? We know that God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. God works out everything all of our problems and all of our life for our good and for his glory. It's good that Paul knew this about God ahead of time because things did not always go so well on this trip. First of all, Paul is going to Rome be as a prisoner because he was telling people about Jesus. He leaves for Rome with other prisoners on a big ship. And do you know what happened to that ship? It got caught in a windy, scary storm. And they had to throw almost all of their things overboard and everyone thought they were going to die. If you were on that ship, would you have had faith to know Jesus was going to help you? Good thing Paul was praying to God and God reminded him that he was going to take Paul to Rome. So he told Paul not to be afraid and that the other men on the ship also would not die. Well, after the 14th day had passed, about two weeks, finally the ship crashed into a reef and all the men had to swim to the nearest land. And here's what happened next. Paul was shipwrecked on an island. The island where Paul's ship was wrecked was called Malta. The people of the island were kind to the people from the shipwreck. It was cold and rainy. So the people on the island built a fire on shore to help the men from the ship keep warm. Paul was gathering some sticks for the fire when a snake bit him. Everyone watched and waited. It was a poisonous snake, so they knew he was sure to die. But he didn't. So people changed their minds and began to wonder if he was a god. I'm sure Paul let them know about the one true God. A man named Publius lived near the place where the ship was wrecked. He had a lot of money and a lot of land. He was a chief official of the island, but his father was sick. Paul prayed for the man's father and God healed him. Then people brought their sick friends to Paul. He asked God to heal them, too. So the people of the island did kind things for Paul and the others, making them feel very special. At last, another ship came. It was time to go on to Italy. The people of the island put many good things on the ship that the men could use for their trip. Paul went through many bad days to tell people about Jesus. On this trip, you could say he had a lot of problems, right? He was a prisoner on a ship. His ship was wrecked. It was cold and rainy. And a poisonous snake bit him and could have killed him. Was this hard for Paul? Of course it was. But Paul thought about Jesus. He knew Jesus suffered many difficult things and even died on a cross so that Paul's sins could be forgiven and so that Paul could become a child of God. Knowing Jesus changed the way Paul saw the shipwreck and all of his problems. As Paul prayed to God, he began to see things differently. The shipwreck was a chance for God to hear Paul's prayers and save the people on the ship. The shipwreck was a chance for the island people to hear that the one true God was much more powerful than a snake or even death. And the shipwreck was a chance for Paul to pray for the sick people of the island and 
for the sick people to see God's healing. The shipwreck was also a chance for Paul to pray, thank God for everything, and be joyful because he was sure that God would help him. Knowing Jesus helped change the way Paul saw his problems. And the one thing I want you to remember today is that knowing Jesus changes the way you see your problems. When he finally got to Rome, do you know Paul was under arrest in his own house for two years? That's like being in quarantine for two years. Because God brought Paul to Rome, the government rulers and the Roman guards that lived in Rome, they all had a chance to hear the good news of Jesus, and some of them really wanted to know. Paul also got to tell everyone who came to visit him all about Jesus. And during that time, he stayed in that house. He wrote many letters that later became the books of the Bible we read today. So next time we have some trouble in our lives, boys and girls, let's remember to ask Jesus, focus and have faith to see the exciting opportunities he's giving us. Let's pray. Jeremy, Father, thank you for this lesson today about Paul. We learned that you help us see our problems differently because we see you in our problems and we know that you are a good and powerful God. We know that you gave Jesus your only son to die on the cross just so that you could call us your children. And we want to share this good news with everyone. It's not going to be easy just like it wasn't easy for Paul. But when we have Jesus, Lord, we know that you will help us to see that you can do all things and that we can do all things through Jesus Christ. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here. Son and Holy